Hello, it's Australia with the Reading for the Collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. Watch out for scammers in the comment section soliciting you for readings. I hope that everyone is doing very well. I appreciate all of your positive energy. Um, I did a reading, sort of a pre-reading. It was strange energy. It was uh, Karmic Feminine. This was actually late last night. Um, karmic Feminine, gathering a group of people together. This person is very upset that you're, or at least the way that they see you is like this Queen of Wands energy that has been through a lot, um, that everything that they threw at you didn't work and that you are glowing and confident and, um, but they're trying to also use your, your looks against you somehow, like, um, that anybody that, you know, kind of follows you is doing you know, or goes towards you, or if this masculine goes towards you, then they're just doing the, the obvious thing, and it's because they're thinking superficially or something like that. They're trying to use your looks against you. Um, that's a really old tactic. Um, and also, um, there was like plans for the near future to do a lot of heavy manipulation um, with this group. And also, um, to get this masculine who is feeling like in a five of coins energy, not doing well financially. Um, they were gathering some people together or something like that at like an apartment or a house. And it was for, um, to make this masculine feel as if things were going to look up because there was like some sort of like, someone was selling this person, uh, this masculine a dream and it, it would, you know, it's just going to lead to a lot of, of heartache and it's going to lead to a tower. Um, if this person falls for it, and they already have figured out what they're dealing with, but they could be so down and out that they, um, they accept it. So that was the reading yesterday, but it was, you know, it was a little bit murky. Um, I did get some, you know, directions for you what to do. I'm going to actually start with this, um, these cards. So, and then get into the reading and see what's come up since that last reading I did. So you have a lot of patience, um, and that's, that's going to work in your favor as far as this, um, energy goes and the timing. Um, you, you're never alone. Um, if you have a special place to go to, go there, especially if you start to see patterns forming, um, you start to see patterns of manipulation or something's not right or off. Um, it, and no matter what, it's continue to light up the place. Um, don't let anybody try to, um, you know, lower your vibration with any kind of manipulation. Um, that that energy is not permanent. So if you're noticing something, it's just no, it's not permanent. Whoever's doing this is going to end up having to learn a lesson from it. Um, you have more than enough strength for, for it. Um, and, and also just focus on, um, getting creative in whatever capacity that is. And you can even use whatever energy it is, um, for your creative pursuits or to, um, approach something that you're work, working on in a, in a creative way. Um, and this will actually help timeline jump, um, help you get into another space. Um, especially if you, um, focus on love, the love energy, love energy around you, you can timeline jump that way. Um, and know that you have also a lot of love in the community around you. Um, that you are loved. A lot of people really appreciate you and even people that you haven't met just even in this collective, you can feel the strength um, around you of the people that are like-minded and, and it's just growing. Um, as far as some sort of conversation, that's something that's meant to sort of draw you into the matrix and get you all trapped in your head. Just be cognizant of, of something having to do with that conversation. Use discernment. Um, continue with your spiritual hygiene. Just know that um, you're a generational first and you're in alignment. Um, and um, any kind of um, programming as far as someone trying to tell you, you know, 
that you're not good enough or you're not capable or you're in the wrong position in life or you don't dress the right way or look the right way or these certain people don't accept you or whatever it is or something left over from childhood just know that you are more than enough so um so that was what came out at the end of that reading um which i think are great sort of instructions but let's see what the current energy is So if you need to change your physical space because something's weird around you, you can do that. You can change, if you, if you can't change your physical space, um, you can transmute, um, but focusing in on love energy um, will help you timeline jump. Um, and you're, you're definitely supported and loved and there's a lot of good energy around you. You're in alignment and um, more than enough. So, let's see here. I just felt like the reading yesterday went, it just went on too long and it was a little bit too murky to share. So it wasn't clear enough. But let's see if that, what I was picking up on is still here or if it's shifted or what we need to know. I mean, I definitely still feel like there's, you know, something about a group and, you know, Someone who has a real problem with the, the way that you look or that you're so confident and but they're they're trying to use that against you. Um almost like it's the obvious choice or that someone is gonna get lost if they go towards you as well. There could be someone's sister involved, um who has some type of like an angle had something to say, but they were trying to be really careful about the way that they were saying it, like they're not criticizing someone um, because, or they weren't, they're not criticizing you because that might not go over well, but trying to get someone to be too afraid to leave a situation or something like that. So what does the collective need to know about this situation or this energy? What's the current energy? What does the collective need to know? Justice. Wow. So karma's playing out. Um, things are balancing out. Four of Cups. Something about someone wanting you to be dissatisfied or dejected or something like that. Um, someone has a problem with this. Um, Someone could be pouting because of karma playing out. The hermit reverse in the subconscious. Someone doesn't want to doesn't want to look within, or they were hasty or rash, or they don't want to be um, investigated. Um, they don't want to look within. They don't want to be alone. They don't want to be ostracized. On the floor in the recent past, we have nine of pentacles reverse. So. It's someone here who either can't take care of themselves or they want reward without effort. They could be like a gold digger. Um, maybe, yeah, there's something about something like a party or something like that here. Trying to get someone back into old patterns. Um, trying to give, you know, someone a dream. Someone is selling someone a dream. Expectations, intentions, ten of wands reverse. So... This is either letting go of a burden, someone's letting go of a burden, has to, someone has to drop something, or this is someone who feels like they're going to have to deal with a lot of um, shame. Um, yeah. Eight of Swords reverse. In the near future, someone's trying to get out of a trap or a psycho psychological trap, or this has to do with the fact that you're not trapped. Um, and someone could have some type of a, a issue with that. Um, the lens that someone is looking through here, Six of Pentacles reverse. Someone feels like maybe they don't want someone to get something. They don't want someone, they could be trying to take something from someone or someone really needs money or someone really needs something or someone could be abusing their power here. Um, something to do with money, give and take. So there's something that's not not even. There's not an, not an equal give and take. Um, 
That's interesting. So this kind of spun around, but in the environment we have Knight of Swords Reverse that came out this way, then this one spun around um, King of Swords. In the environment, there's somebody here that is acting very rash, um, which I feel like they might already feel that way about themselves or about a situation subconsciously. So in the environment, someone is out of control. There's like an out of control bully that everybody can see. Um, yeah, lashing out. But there's a king of swords here. They spun around. So I feel unsure about who this is. But since they're in the upright, we could say that this is a masculine energy that's very just, has a bird's eye view, won't stop until they get to the bottom of something. It looks like they're looking at justice here. Um, there could be a king of swords watching something here. This could be an investigator. This could be Archangel Michael. Or this is how somebody comes across in regards to someone here who's lashing out. Um, eight of Wands reverse. Somebody doesn't want something to... Someone could have taken some frustrated action and they're hoping that it sticks. They could be worried something's going to backfire. This could be about trying to block something online or try to like jumble up energy or block a message um, or someone doesn't want someone to fall in love with someone. Um, outcome. Outcome for the collective. Uh, five of Wands reverse. So this is that energy that's that like trickery, underhanded behavior, um, fighting within a group. Um, someone who's maybe in competition with you or feels like they're your rival. Maybe gathering, trying to gather a group together. Ten of Pentacles under the deck. There could be some sort of luxury involved or a windfall or someone's focused on your business or someone's business here or um, generational wealth or in competition with someone or trying to get into a circle that has this lot, lot of money um, or someone feels like this is the direction you're going but it's something that's yours maybe so we have this justice here Let's see here. So, who is it that we're dealing with primarily? What's the primary energy of this person or people? What is the primary energy of this person or people? What does the collective need to know? Shapeshifter, visionary, healer. I feel like this wants to come out. Child Eternal Poet. So someone is saying something here. They feel like it's edgy to go against you. Um, there's something, someone here that thinks very mechanistically. You're you're a healer. There's someone here that doesn't want to be pinned down. They're a shapeshifter. They need to face their own demons. Um, they want to be the hero of something. They could make up lies. They could be a storyteller for a living. They could plagiarize your work. This person could exploit the female nature and form. This person could choose um, inappropriate surrogate families. They have some type of a problem with your lightness of being, your purity. This person could be a mother. This could be your mother involved or someone's mother is involved. They feel real invincible <laughs> with stealing something from you. So this is someone who feels real entitled to your, your energy or to something that's yours. And they're real greedy. So I feel like this is probably a karmic feminine energy. Um, doesn't have to be, but this is a thief and a shapeshifter who's focused on someone who's very clearly a visionary, a healer, has very youthful um, energy. You have the ability to see things with fresh eyes. You have. Um, you maintain purity of heart and spirit, um, and you have the capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. So, there's something about some someone using words, um, somehow, but karma's playing out, so that's good. Um, what do we need to know about 
the situation. I feel like somebody was trying to sell someone a dream. And I feel like someone was trying to paint you in the wrong picture, paint you the wrong way or something like that and gather a whole bunch of people. Karma could already be playing out since that. But I definitely feel like someone's trying to manipulate um, in a group. Justice. Wow. Marriage reverse. Distant horizons. So someone could be going through a divorce and it could be getting posted online. Or someone could be traveling away from a marriage. Um, physically traveling. This could have to do with some type of like something something online. This could also have to do with energy. Someone could have to go to the courts or this married couple um, that maybe attacked you or something like that uh, or try to take something from you. Karma is playing out and they're both spiraling. Um, this could have something about dreams with distant horizons here, dreams or or energy astral astral travel this could also be internet online um four of cups so someone feels disappointed or uh, melancholy uh, or despair reverse someone was like trying to get out of despair they're not in a good mood karma's playing out the Hermit Reverse, Imprisonment. So deep down, there's something about being trapped. Something was really rash and now they're trapped. They could go to jail. Um, Eight of Swords in the near future trying to get out of this trap. Um, Nine of Pentacles Reverse, this is like someone that will once reward without effort. Um, Nine of Pentacles reverse courtship. They're focused on court on someone courting someone. Ten of Wands reverse. Someone is gonna have to be deal with shame, malice. Child reverse. Someone is not wholesome. Or they're gonna let go of the bur a burden of a child. Or someone's not pregnant. Eight of Swords reverse. Um, someone's trying to get out of a trap. Expectation were rever reverse. They weren't expecting this. This could be like immediate. This all could be immediate karma playing out from something that someone tried to pull even yesterday. But I think that there's this is more of like broader balancing out. Here, someone could have to go to court or be dealing with a court system, a, co a justice system, I mean, in this married couple could. Um. Someone really could feel deep down like they don't want to be investigated because they could go to jail. Or they did something rash and now they're trapped. They're unhappy. Karma's playing out. They weren't expecting to feel trapped or to trap themselves in the near future. Six of Pentacles reverse. Someone is abusing their power or someone's trying to take something from someone. Um, high honor reverse. Someone lost their lost respect. They could feel like, so yeah, someone doesn't respect someone for abusing their power. This could also involve law enforcement somehow. I'm not sure. Um, need to clarify. We have this King of Swords and the Upright Knight of Swords in the environment. Reverse. Someone's lashing out, but this King of Swords sees everything. Um, Privileged Lady Reverse is lashing out over someone's gift in the upright. Someone's trying to bully someone over a gift. Everyone can see it, it's in the environment. So, somebody could be really um, having some type of like a tantrum or worse. Knight of Swords reverse fairly dangerous kind of energy. So somebody's out of control, I feel like. And people know it because it's in the environment. Privilege, lady, reverse. People aren't 
seeing this person in the best of light, maybe because it's reversed, privileged lady reversed, they were trying to sell, sell a personality that's not real. They were trying to come across in a certain way. Yeah, it's this main female reverse. People see, they, yeah, I feel like people know that this person was abusing some power position that they were in. And, um, maybe trying to come across as like, you know, a dilettante or a socialite or a well-bred, <laughs> you know, civilized or respectable or upper echelon or something like that but in the reverse here it's like it was all an act or people know that how they got where they got was from doing something dirty or people lost this person's lost respect because they know that this person is out of control and lashing out and trying to bully somebody who's gifted or has a gift um yeah Eight of Wands reverse. Someone's worried about maybe they took some sort of frustrated frustrated action, or they don't want something to move so quickly, or they don't want something to come out online, um, or uh, they want to block a message. Um, message of concern. Okay, so this has to do with a message. Eight of Wands reverse. They want to block a message, or they don't want this message to get out. Um, yeah, they don't want people to know something online. Five of Wands reverse up to a bunch of trickery, um, underhanded behavior. It's connected to another mask. There's some other masculine energy connected to it. False person under the deck. So I definitely feel like someone's trying to sell someone a dream or something like that. That's still coming up. Um, oops, let's see, uh, if you get any more details. So justice, karma's playing out for this couple, this married couple, they're spiraling, or they're getting a divorce, something could be coming out online, or there's something about travel, energy, dreams, internet. What's this Distant Horizons here for? Distant Horizons. Something about convention. Someone coming out of isolation. Okay. Someone doesn't want to be isolated anymore. Or someone was trying to isolate. See, Four of Cups feels like isolation. Someone is like spiraling downwards in this marriage in order to fit in or do what others say they should do in order to succeed or to be accepted. But they isolated themselves or they tried to isolate someone and it could be coming out on online or this is energy. Anyway, it's karma playing out. Someone wants to get out of despair um, or someone is like, they did everything for acceptance or something like that. But the irony is that with this, like you can see, it's a sim very, very similar energy with this convention and privileged lady. It's like fitting in somewhere where everybody's just a bit above someone else or something like that, or they, they know the way or they have the key or whatever it is. But someone is felt isolated in this situation and it's getting worse because they're spiraling or they they don't want to be isolated anymore karma or they have to go they want to go to court or yeah this is like they want to be they actually want to be left alone but they don't want to be isolated they don't want to be in despair anymore someone doesn't want to be in despair um someone doesn't want to be in despair anymore it's their ego someone someone's ego yeah there's something about staying in some situation because of an ego or because of how something looks even though it's spiraling out of control or 
they want to get out of despair. They don't want to be isolated anymore, but um, the problem is someone's ego. Someone has a big ego. They don't want to, they just want to be, or someone has a problem, the fact that someone's not in despair. Um, hermit reverse. Someone doesn't want to be alone or ostracized. They feel trapped. Um, they, they can't, they can't defend themselves or protect themselves. They feel trapped in this situation. In the recent past Nine of Pentacles reversed courtship. Someone here wants reward without effort and they're focused on a courtship. Originality. Who's courting you? This person with that's like a gold digger energy. Or somebody here that's like not able to take care of themselves or doesn't want to take care of themselves. They want whatever you have. They're focusing on you, your uniqueness, and who's coming towards you. Ten of Wands reverse. Either someone's letting go of a burden or they know that they're going to have to deal with some sort of like shame connected to a child. Um, news getting out. The start of some information. Lies. Lies, shame, malice, some, something coming out. Expectation reverse, eight of swords reverse. Someone wasn't expecting to be trapped. I'm trying to get out of this trap. Uh, they want out, or they're, they're trying to become unstuck, or they weren't expecting you to become unstuck. Um, loss reverse. Someone trying to recover from some type of a loss, or it's not you that took the loss. Someone could be confused as to why you're not trapped and you, you're not losing. Or someone trying to recover from loss and being trapped in the near future. Six of Pentacles reverse, high honor reverse. Somebody's lost someone's respect. They're trying to take something from someone here. They're trying to abuse their power. Or someone's taking too much. Domination reverse. So somebody um, isn't able to dominate someone anymore. They were trying to use their, abuse their power, but, and trying to make someone feel like they should fall into line. They could be using religion or something about convention to kind of like shame someone into subordination or something like that. It's a lot of mind games, but because this person doesn't respect them because you know, if someone was acting like they were in some sort of position of authority or like they, um, they have some sort of information or position above someone else, then whatever they, whatever advice they give or opinion they have holds a lot more weight. But now that it's like the mask is off, whatever advice they have it's sort of baseless it doesn't count for anything because there's corruption here or somebody was acting like they were something they're not so there's if there's no respect then it doesn't matter if this person tries to dominate someone with like the right way to do things or responsibility or whatever it is because it's all like a game or false or fake um and a lot of it has to do with money so it's very clear this person is not this privileged lady in the environment who's like a bully who is trying to bully someone with a gift uh and there's this king of swords that sees everything um, extreme information someone's trying to stop something from getting out so i'm trying to maybe try to control some information that's getting out yeah, that's what they're afraid of here. Eight of Wands reverse. They don't want something to get out. Something about someone not being able to escape something. They don't want something to get out about not being able to escape. Yeah, someone's definitely trapped, feeling trapped. And now we have this main male here. 
Um, five of Wands, Reverse, Trickery, Underhanded Behavior, and there's this main male here. How are they connected? Main male and this Five of Wands, Reverse. Something's coming out about someone was trying to, someone was in some kind of an illusion, but it's like someone is seeing through an illusion and the outcome uh, connected to this other masculine. Um, there's no order here. Something seemed like there was order. There is actually no order. It's all, it's all like, yeah, there's a lack of innovation here as well. So it's, it's someone who's like wants to be in this like acquiring energy or they want to live in this like upper echelon energy, but there's no innovation. So it's now it's like a, this is like a costume ball or something. It's just not real. Um, it's not sustainable. Yeah, someone's not achieving anything here. Um, so they might still like nice things or something like that, but they want status and nice things. And they, they want status, acquisition, appreciation. They want all the nice things, but they're not very generous and there's no achievement happening here. And a lies come out. This manipulation is not working. Someone could have been trying to say, you're not innovative. Um, okay, so what else does the collective need to know that's going on here? Someone doesn't want to be isolated. This marriage, there's a divorce here, or it's all about fitting in or something like that. Someone's trying to keep appearances up, um, but someone doesn't want to be isolated, but karma's playing out. Or someone wants to go to court. This marriage is falling apart or spiraling down, downwards. Um, travel or someone could be going on a trip. Okay. We did see distant horizons. So there's something about karma's playing out. Something about traveling and karma's playing out. Somebody doesn't want to be married. They're traveling. They don't want to be isolated anymore. Someone wants to travel or this happened on a trip. Someone's traveling. Someone's not isolated. Someone doesn't want to be isolated. Divine connection, cheater, large house, or mansion. Maybe some you had. This is someone you had a divine connection with that cheated on, like a spiritual connection, in order to live in some large house or mansion. Maybe the the kind of clarity of the universe that is like the interpretation of it because something is very clear about a connection and distant horizons to find connection cheater it's like the universe is trying to say someone cheated and karma is playing out or it's playing out in this large house or mansion someone cheated on a divine connection Maybe when they traveled, it all started when they traveled and the universe sees them as a cheater and karma is playing out. The angels see them as a cheater or divine energies. It goes against something. It's like not sacred. It's cheating. Uh, Someone had an ego. They want to get out of despair. It was their ego. Because they wanted to appear a certain way. They don't want to be isolated in North Node.
they have too much pride to pursue their north node or they wanted to they wanted to be part of this group um or they have an ego they have a problem that you're not in despair and you're heading towards your north node so someone could feel like that's part of the justice is that like You didn't use maybe your like your more base attributes to try to accumulate as much as you could, can, as fast as you can, and trick the system. Um, you didn't wear a mask to be accepted by groups. Like you didn't go reading a group of people and try to play into what they want so you can have things here and be accepted quickly. Definitely something too about someone's phone. So someone's in their ego about you on your north node. Deep down, someone doesn't want to be trapped. Court case. Court case is coming out with defense reverse, protection reverse. So deep down, what's worrying them is they don't, they can't defend themselves in court. So they did something really rash imprisonment they could go to jail or they're trapped in a situation but they don't want to be isolated anymore maybe they're worried about going to court or trying to get out of a situation this could be somebody who um you were in a connection with that like ghosted you or discarded you for appearances and money and clout and now they feel trapped and they know, I feel like they might not want to be isolated from you anymore as well. They feel like they cheated on a divine connection maybe. They could live in a big house but feel really isolated. I feel like there's something else going on here as well though. Or it's the universe that sees them like a cheater. somebody here or there's someone else like a karmic feminine that is trying to accuse someone of being a cheater because they have a connection with you and someone's in their ego because you're heading towards your north node even though they tried to stop that someone could have done something they shouldn't have done and this court case might not have to do with a divorce it could have to do with something they did to you and they could go to jail. Something about your, someone wants to head phone. Something happened on the phone in regards to a courtship and someone being very original. We just saw phone tap. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This person wants reward without effort. There's something on the phone. Maybe someone was having a conversation on the phone or trying to see something on someone's phone about someone courting someone. Or someone's, someone's trying to look in to see something about someone's originality. Um, soul is vacant. Okay, so this is like someone who... Nine of Pentacles reversed. That's like a gold digger. This is someone who wants reward without effort. That's real soulless and vacant. So maybe someone wanted, maybe someone finds someone to be very soulless and vacant that's like a, a gold digger. Um, and they want to head towards some, or someone knows that someone wants to head towards you. They see you as original. Um, something about you being accepted for who you are. Why is phone here? coming out. Water sign. Water. Can we get another one? Water. Internet. 
Like it's trying to say something here, like phone, phone tap, internet. Phone, internet. Phone, internet. Originality. Someone's online on their phone. Accepting something about someone, being very original and wanting to head towards them. Or, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure yet. Someone's real restless, ten of one universe. Something about having to wait. They want to drop this burden. Someone in their future is trying to get out of a trap. Uh, they weren't expecting this or trying not to take a loss. It could have to do with you. This was in the wrong deck. In the near future. Oh wow. It's actually, it is supposed to be you. So, okay, so it was. It's interesting, it was in the wrong deck and it's you twice. So something about divine feminine, expectation okay. reverse. Oh, okay. Someone is, someone wasn't expecting for you not to be trapped and for you um, not to have taken a loss. They weren't expecting this. You're not trapped, you're not taking a loss. Six of Pentacles reverse, high honor reverse, dominant. Someone's lost respect. They can't dominate someone. Um, evil intentions. Maybe someone. Maybe some. Either someone's realizing that someone was trying to do something with evil intentions, they don't respect them anymore, or. They thought that they should be able to take you down, and now they don't respect them because they can't dominate you. Someone was in a power position and they still couldn't dominate you, and someone feels like they've lost this person's respect. I don't know which one it is. Knight of Swords reverse in the environment. Celebrity. Someone's lashing out in the environment. They're like a bully. It could be a celebrity here. Um, regret. Somebody here is lashing out. They could be a celebrity or they're a celebrity in whatever capacity that is. And they have regret. Someone's not a privileged lady. They're trying to stop this from information from getting out. They were trying to take someone's gift. Um, Eight of Wands reverse. Someone's trying to stop this from getting out. This message. Um, someone can't escape. Something about someone trying to put up boundaries around the truth. that someone was, can't escape. They don't want someone to escape because of the truth. The truth, someone can't escape because of the truth or someone is trying to s block the truth so that someone can't escape. They don't want this message to get out. There's something about isolation, being trapped, the fact that you're not trapped. Something about someone not being able to escape. It's all about like dominating someone and trying to trap somebody and like trying to use information to against someone. Outcome, there's some sort of trickery here and there's a main male involved and someone is seeing through the fog. 
about a crime or criminal network or illegal activities, this underhanded, someone seeing past it, probably that's going to all happen in the winter. Let's do one more pass. See if someone could be in bad health. And feeling a lot of shame. Definitely cleanse your space. If you, or this is confirmation if you did already, or if you're thinking about it and you confirmation there could be a cancer involved so to summarize someone cheated on a divine connection here or there's a marriage falling apart or something's coming out online it's basically it's karma karma's playing out for leo watching something Someone's trying to get out of despair. Someone, something about someone's ego, about someone's north node. Something about your playful energy or your magical energy while someone else here is sick. There's a whole mean family involved. MNOP could be significant. Something about astral travel and the fact that you are... This person who the angels love like their baby. <laughs> I love when that one comes out. There's something about your dreams as well. Um, yeah, something is something is in like a nightmare about someone trying to deny something. Yeah, they're in a lot of shame about like their north node and some and. and, and being in their ego about something. Um, I don't know, maybe you have this mansion. Or this big house. Or they did something for a big house. Deep down they don't want to be, or they're trapped. They feel trapped, but they can't protect themselves with this court case. Justice came out. So justice, imprisonment, and court case, this really could be, um, it could have something to do with your creativity, but it doesn't have to. Um, they can't defend themselves, just karma's playing out. Someone really could go to jail, because we have justice, imprisonment here, justice, um, eight of swords, misinformation's coming out, something going on about Maybe there's a water sign, something happening online, someone accepting you or something about being accepted. You're very original. And then there's this person here who's like wants reward without effort. That's very soulless and vacant. That's, um, they're receiving bad, bad karma. And there's definitely something about your playfulness, your lightheartedness of being that's like very significant. Someone feels like they have to wait. They're real restless about an injustice. They know they're going to get shamed. They, they have to wait, though, because of an injustice. Someone wasn't expecting you not to be trapped and not to take a loss in the near future. In regards to something you made, there could be a Pisces involved. Someone was abusing their power here. Someone doesn't respect them. They can't dominate someone with their evil intentions. Yeah, someone has a wake. Someone has a wake. Someone has clarity about someone's evil intentions. They just can't be dominated. Something about romantic feelings as well. 
There's something about a celebrity here in the environment. Someone has a lot of regret. Someone's not a privileged lady. Um, maybe someone tried to connect with someone because they thought that they were a celebrity or because um, they are a celebrity but they're not upstanding or they're connected to a celebrity and they thought that this person that was connected to the celebrity is someone that was like had a lot of clout or put them into the upper echelons of something and privilege lady reverse they're not and they're trying to block some information it's just it's a bad it just looks bad it's the opposite of like coming across as part of a special group but there's a celebrity here it's always regretting a lot and sorry about that knight of swords reverse someone's lashing out there could be a gemini involved um somebody's really projecting or someone projected something onto someone um there could be definitely cleanse your space come out again um so whoever this celebrity is might be a male presenting person that is very entitled and very arrogant and that has a lot of bad vibes um yeah the situation is extremely toxic so someone could have done something to get near or be around a celebrity or this celebrity is not privileged lady they're not upstanding they're not somebody that you know people admire or something there's no admiration or someone has gotten to know someone or something here and they're just real arrogant and it's not good vibes um the whole situation is toxic um something about not being able to escape Sending a message on a vacation? Something about a vacation or travel. Um, someone can't escape or so someone can't escape. The truth is someone's putting up boundaries, but they can't escape. Someone here is real unhinged. There could be a vacation going on here. Wow, violence. Somebody could be like lashing out. It, someone else could be crying. Um, just really over, just reacting and, you know, slamming doors or something like that. And someone is trying to put up boundaries, but they can't escape and they could be on a vacation. They could be in some type of like a big house. Here, there could be a celebrity here. And someone is, or maybe there's a couple celebrities here. Um, they chose someone, uh, yeah, and there's something about something that you made and things are just not, this is just real bad energy and they were expecting you to take some type of a loss. These people are deeply unhappy. Um, they did something unjust. There's something where they were in their ego about like, they're in their ego about you on your north node. Um, and because of being in denial about it, it's like created some sort of a nightmare. It, the whole thing is a nightmare. This whole thing is a nightmare. It's toxic. Someone is deep, deeply sad. Um, I feel like this person wants to escape something but they also feel like they can't defend themselves in a court case that someone will come after them but there's also people doing things here illegal illegally but there's like this is not this is all um it's lacking in innovation so this could be someone that tr you know gotten the situation and they want to do something though they they do want to do something but it's just so toxic um, and there's a lack of innovation and people are false and it's a lot of bad energy and a lot of projection going on and people like bullying or someone's trying to bully here and 
someone's trying to take off the top or you know people have, this person's lost there's evil intentions here there's no respect someone's getting a lot of clarity about the situation and maybe they thought that they got into something that was on the surface it looked magical somehow but but they also like discarded you for it um and you're very clearly on your north node and somebody's in their ego about that while they're in this nightmare because they could tell that like you have this like very light-hearted energy about you or you come across as someone that has like these you know like this glow around you or this like deva realm or this playfulness that's how you look to this person because they're especially they're in this real dark situation um and then the outcome, actual crime, criminal network, five of ones reverse, a lot of people doing no good, up to no good here, underhanded behavior, trickery. Um, you're in peace, even though there's this group here that's trying to do something or did something, someone's getting clarity about it. Someone here's an energy vampire someone is seeing through the fog that someone is an en energy vampire mental institution is under the deck so someone might need some very serious um you know professional help um after experiencing this or they're dealing with someone that is very very unhinged extremely unhinged very unstable um so and people aren't doing thing, things that are legal as well. So, um, wow. If you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.